Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's YouTube tutorial, we are going to uh, see a use case in which we are going to uh, check if there is any unused AMI in our account on weekly basis. And if there is any unused AMI that we can find uh, once a week, we are going to deregister that AMI from our account, uh, which is going to save us cost because uh, AMI that we are uh, even if it is unused, it is going to cost us if we are not using it and it is associated with our account. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, see how we can implement this. So guys, we are going to achieve this by using Lambda. We are going to write a Lambda function. This Lambda function is uh, going to uh, check for the unused AMIs and that unused AMIs would be deregistered by using lambda function and this lambda function is going to send email notification once the deregistration process is completed and this lambda function is going to run on a weekly basis so uh, in event bridge we are going to have a schedule created for this lambda to run on a weekly basis so uh, let's go ahead and explore how we can achieve this use case so let me uh, go to my AWS account. So guys over here, if you can see, I have created three EC2 instances. One is Linux. Okay. So this Linux instance, if I click on this, uh, you can see uh, it is AMI 66F. And if I go back, this is also the same AMI 66F. So these both are the Linux instances and the AMI for both of these Linux instances are same. And if I go for Windows, for Windows, it is different as you can see CD7. Now, uh, if I go back to my AMIs console, you can see there is no AMI that we have created yet. Okay. So, uh, uh, before we write the Lambda function, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the code in our PyCharm editor. The reason for that is, uh, it is, uh, it gives us a flexibility where we can, uh, test our code before putting into it into a Lambda function. Okay. So now what I will do, I will create a Python file. Let me click over here. So let's name this Python file as AMI unused. Python file. Okay. I'll just press enter. This is going to create a new file. So guys, uh, for writing our code, we are going to use uh, Boto3. So first I will write input Boto3. Okay. So as a part of our uh, first code, what we are going to do is first I will find unused, oh sorry, first I will find used AMIs, used image IDs for running EC2 instances and store it in list. Okay. So now guys, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to find out uh, the uh, images which are being used, the image IDs which are uh, in use and we are going to filter out the image IDs based on the EC2 instances which are only and only in the running state. So for that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start using our uh, Boto3 uh, library. So I will go back to our console over here. I will write Boto, Boto3 EC2. If I go to the documentation. Okay, so I will click on client. I will copy this. Okay. okay, now EC2 is equal to, okay. so guys, as you can see, I have initiate, initiated the Boto3 client. So as part of this Boto3 client, now I am going to invoke a function. So what is this uh, function would be? It is going to be describe instances. So if I go down to describe, yes, describe C 
see describe instances so describes the specified instances for all instances so i am going to use this so right now i am not going to uh, use any filter into it so if you see over here in the filter list i don't see there is any uh, uh, required uh, required argument okay so i don't think so there is any positional argument which has been used in this function so we can go ahead and use this uh, without uh, putting any uh, filters because there is no uh, positional arguments which are been defined into this function and the function that we are going to run over here it is going to return a dictionary and the dictionary output would be in this format so what we are trying to fetch from this specific uh, uh, function first we are going to uh, run this function this function is going to return us a dictionary of all the uh, ec2 instances which are uh, there uh, in the in our account so from that we have to go into reservations and under reservations we have to go to instances so in insta inside reservations there it groups also but we will we, we are interested in instances because from instances we have to fetch our image id so over here we would require to uh, two values one would be the image id value and another would be the instance id value okay so let's go ahead and see how we can achieve it so i will write over here instances is equal instances is equal to ec2 dot describe instances so if i print over here instances and uh, run this code over here so guys you can see the output is printed over here it is having all the values that is required okay so i will describe we we'll just paste it over here so i will describe ec2 instances this function is working fine and it is fetching the value now what i am going to do is i am going to create a empty list so this would be used underscore ami and in this we are going to save our image ids so now guys as you as you know it is going to re uh, return us the dictionary we are going to traverse the dictionary now so for traversing the dictionary we are going to use a for loop so i will use for reservation in instances and in instances i will be using this reservations okay and so within this reservation now we are inside the reservation so again inside the reservation i have to go inside instances so for that i will write a for loop once again for instance in reserve reservations not reservation and this reservation and over here what i need is instances okay so now now we are into this instances and from instances what i have to fetch now is i have to fetch the instance id and the instance date so now guys as i said we are going to see uh, if the instance is in running state or not so if it is in running state then and only then we are going to uh, co uh, conclude that uh, we have to uh, fetch the image id for this specific from this specific instance so let me just go ahead and create a variable first i will create a variable id instance or inside that i will write instance id this is instance id so it is going to print the instance id and now we would be printing the state Okay, so 
this is the state that we are going to uh, okay state is equal to state Let's print the values now and see if our code is functional. So let's save the code now. Let me clear this. Let me run it. Okay, so there is one error over here. So sorry. So what I did is So guys, as I said, under instances, we are looking for state. So if you see the state is over here and inside state, we have to search for name. So in the code, what I will do first, first I will write as state is equal to instance and under instance, we would be looking for state. So if I go back here, so now we reached over here. So we are inside. Uh, so we have reached state. So inside state, we have to go to name. So that's the reason what I have did is. So once this is going to return a value from this value, I am again going to uh, search for name and then I am going to stay, uh, save the state over here. Now let me go ahead and run the code. So guys, as you can see, it is showing that our three instances are in running state. If I stop any of these instances also, it is showing you, it is going to show you that it is in running state or not. Now, why we are uh, doing this? Uh, because uh, as per the scenario, the use case that we are having, we are only going to uh, fetch the image IDs of the EC2 inst instances which are in running state. We are not bothered if it is in stop state or any other state. So now what I can do is now as we have ID and state, I can use a if function. So uh, what are the values of state? If I go back over to our official documentation, so these are the state values which are available that I can use. Okay. Describe instances. So under instances, if I go to state, so inside state, we are only going to focus on the running instances. So for that, so you can see the state is over here running. So I will write a if function. So if state is equal equal to running, sorry, I have not copied it from here, running. then only then it is going to append this image id to our used ami list okay so i will write used underscore ami dot append and inside append i will use instance 
and inside instance and I want to fetch the image ID so that's it so now after doing this what I can do is I can come out of the for loop and I can print this list for you so let's run the program now so guys as you can see now it is showing the list okay so over here what we have achieved is it is going to see these are the three running instances and for these three running instances it is going to pick the image ids of these three running instances and it is going to uh, append that image ids to our list so now uh, in this scenario uh, what let's test it i will go to the console and over here what i can do is instances and for windows i will just stop instance so my instance has gone into the stopping state so now if i run my code if you see right now we have three values these two are similar and this one is different this is the windows ami okay let me run the code once again okay so guys as you can see so for uh, ami for this specific instance is not being added to the list so as you can see our code is running successfully what i can do is i will just go ahead and comment this now this won't be required and I will just go ahead and let me refresh it and let me start this instance again now guys now in this code you have seen there is that there is duplicate values which is getting printed so if you see over here so guys as you can see as there are duplicate values which is getting added or appended into the list so let's go ahead and remove these duplicate values remove <clears throat> duplicate image IDs. So for that, what I will do, I will just take this list and over here, I I will use set. So what is set? So uh, so in set, guys, if you are having duplicate values, it will automatically. Uh, remove your duplicate values so set uh, uh, just keep the values which are unique duplicate values will automatically be uh, will be automatically removed from set okay so that is the reason i am defining it as a part of set okay and i will show you that how it will help us to get the duplicates removed so as you can see there are duplicates over here six is f okay so now after using this the duplicates will be removed let me print the list once again for you. So guys over here you can see. So this is the first one. In this 66F and 66F is duplicate. And after running this function, you can see we have removed the duplicate. Now let's move ahead to the next code block. So guys, what we are going to do is now, now we are going to use a function which would be a describe images function. This describe image function uh, would go ahead and fetch all the uh, images which are available in our account. So now by using, while using this function, we are going to use a filter and that filter would be that uh, this, the AMIs that is into the account, it should be in available state. Okay. So let me show you what is available state so for that what i will do i will go to my console in my console i will just refresh it now you can see there are three these two instances running and if i go into emis there is no emi so let's go ahead and create an emi So as you can see in the AMI, there are no AMIs right now. So I will go to instances. So for windows, I will go ahead and create an image. So I will go in image and templates. I will click on create image. Test image. 
let's keep it and I have enabled no reboot let's keep it as it is and I will clear click on create image now if I go to AMIS you can see the image is getting created so we will wait for a while till the status changes to available so guys till the time the status changes to available let's uh, jump back to our editor and let's write the code to uh, fetch all the images which are there into your account so if i click on this uh, i will go to the first i'll go to the official documentation i will go back and client so inside client we have to use the function which is describe images so let's search for describe images uh, let me go down so this is describe images so you can see describe the specified images ami aki and ars available to you or all of the images available to you okay so over here we are going to use this so uh, let me do one thing let me copy this and let's go back to our editor over here so first i will write get all images from account in available state so over here i will use images is equal to ec2 what describe images so guys over here what i am going to do now is over here this time i am going to use a filter so i will just copy this entire line and i am going to paste it over here so from this i am going to remove this and over here also let's remove this also and let's remove this also so guys now so we are looking for images which are in available state so for that what we would be doing now is comma over here I will go back to the official documentation now so in filters i am going to use the state of the uh, em uh, image that we have created let's see what is the state right now so right now yeah so you can see the status is now available so if i go over here and if i search for state see so the state would be available pending and failed so I am going to use this as filter. So the name of the filter would be state and the value of the filter would be available. available. Okay. Now for owners, we are going to define as self. As you can see in the console, it is owned by me. Okay, so now let's let's see first of all what this is going to return us. If I go over here, guys, this is going to return us a dictionary. So from this dictionary, so from images, we have to find out the image ID. So it is going to return a dictionary so now what we will do is as it is going to return a dictionary first let's see if the round code is running successfully i will try to print the dictionary okay so i don't see any error in the code so what we can do now is now we can start traversing this dictionary
So let's put a comment. Traverse images dictionary. Okay. So over here for traversing, what I'm going to do is I am going to use a for loop. So let's go ahead and write our for loop. So for image in images. So under images, what I'm looking for is let me go to the official documentation. So I have to go inside images. Okay. So I'm inside images now. And as I'm part of this images, now let me go ahead and print the image ID. Image and it would be image ID. So this is image ID. So let's go ahead and run the code and see if it is working successfully. So guys, as you can see, it is printing the image ID. Let's see which image ID it is. If I go to the console. So see, this is the same uh, custom image ID that we have created now. So what I can do now is, so instead of printing it, I will just, first I will create empty list over here. Let's name the list as custom underscore AMI is equal to this would be empty list and we will just append the append and that's it. Let's go ahead and print the list. Let's see if our code is running. So guys, as you can see, now the second list is also ready, which is a custom AMI. <clears throat> now, so guys, so what we are going to do is, so we are going to now uh, compare the two lists uh, from one another and we will conclude uh, which, uh, which is the value which has been, uh, which is the AMI which is not been used and the one which is not used, we are going to go ahead and deregister it. Okay. So for that, what I will do. Check if custom AMI is there in used underscore AMI list. If not, the register it. So guys, if I go over here, what I'm trying to say is, if I go to AMIs, right now you can see the AMI is in available state. Okay. So if I take you to the code once again, and if you see the state over here, available so now what I will do is I will jump back to my code editor and I will now just start writing our function so for in my in system underscore pm with AMI not in used underscore AMI. So guys, what we are doing over here, I have written a for loop. So this for loop will travel, uh, traverse through the custom AMI list. So within this list, what we are doing is we are writing a if function. What this if function is going to do is when this for loop will run, it will go to this list and from this list, it will pick one element and it will save that element into AMI. Now, once that element is been picked, 
now we are using a if uh, function where we will compare that specific element and see if that specific element or the image ID that has been picked as a part of this list is available in the used AMI list or not. If it is available in the used AMI list, it is not going to deregister it. But if it is available, it will be deregistered automatically. So let's go ahead and uh, print to see if our code is good. AMI has been is marked for the registration. So let's see if we are able to achieve that. So let's go ahead and run this. So guys, as you can see, it is showing the unused AMI which is there, okay, which is the custom AMI. So guys, as you can see, now it is showing this custom AMI as uh, that this custom AMI has not been used because and any of the EC2 instances is not using this AMI. So let's go ahead and uh, check whether uh, our it is our work code is working properly so what i will do i will just select this ami and by using this custom ami that we have created let's go ahead and launch an ec2 instance okay so i have launched so ec2 instance Let's let me show you the code once again. So right now, as I said, so for, uh, we we are having three instances, okay, running instances, and then from these these three running instances, uh, these two values were duplicate. So we removed that duplicate value and we got a unique list of image IDs. Once we got the unique list of image IDs, uh, we ran a command which is describe images, which uh, uh, fetches all the available images into your account and uh, it shows over here. So with the current available image in our account was 4BB8. So as any of the EC2 instances which has been uh, in running state is not using the specific uh, image ID, we are going ahead and deregistration. Uh, go ahead. We are going ahead for deregistration. Now, as you can see, so see this new box is getting initialized okay so right now it is in running state so let me go ahead and so over here what we can do is before running this code i will write else function also no emi for the registration okay now I will run this code guys. So there will be difference. So guys, as you can see, the custom AMI that we have created, as there is an EC2 instance which is running and using this custom AMI, we are not going to go ahead with the deregistration process for this specific AMI. So as per our use case, what we are doing is, and what we are trying to achieve is, we, are, we just have to deregister the AMIs which are not in use that means which are not been used by any of the running EC2 instances which are there into our account. So guys, as you can see, this code is running as expected. So now instead of, uh, I will just remove this else function. Okay, so after removing this else function, what I will do? Now our next uh, step would be, we have to deregister. So for deregister, let me again uh, recreate a scenario for you guys. So over here, I will just go ahead into the console. So let's create a new image once again. Create image. So over here, I will give the image name as test image two. Okay. Enable 
let me add tag main test image to let's create the image and if i go into amis so we will wait for a few minutes for this image uh, to be in available state so once it is in available state what guys we are going to do is now we are going to run our code and we will see if we are able to deregister this ami from our account so for doing that what i will do is i will go back to our code block so over here we have to use a function that function would be to deregister image so let's see what this function what that uh, function looks like so if i go back to the client so over here in describe uh, describe see deregister image if i click on this deregisters the specified ami after you uh, deregister an ami it can't be used to launch new instances so over here let's see what it is showing so over here you have to pass the image id that needs to be deregistered so what i will do i will just go ahead and over here i will mention ec2 dot ec2 dot deregister image deregister image and inside that image as you can see this is a positional argument image id is a positional argument that is the reason it is mandatory so you will have to give this uh, specific positional argument otherwise this code is not going to run for you i mean to say this uh, function will not run for you so image id is equal to string and within this string what i am going to do is i am going to use ami okay now our code is done so let's change this print statement so what i will do is i will just write unused emi id is it is this third okay now what we can do is uh, as we also have to uh, notify via email so for doing that what will i have to do is i will have to uh, save this output into a list so let's go ahead and create an empty list d register underscore list is equal to so this is empty list so over here i will just go ahead so for this print statement what i will do i will print it so we will print as well as we will save it okay d register is equal to as i am uh, saving it into deg what i will do is now into this empty list i am going to go ahead and append deg okay so for now i will just go ahead and comment this let's go ahead and see if our created image is in available state so yes it is in available state so before we run the registration i want to see if uh, the data is get, getting added into the list so i have commented this line for now i will just go ahead and run my code and guys you can see my code is running but one thing i forgot let me try to print the list to see if my list is been saved successfully so yes my list is having the value that i want so what i will do is now i am going to go ahead and deregister this image which is not been used by any ec2 instance let's test it i will just remove 
So over here, you can see we have FAE 2D. I'll refresh it once again for you. Okay. And now I will just go ahead and run our code, which will deregister this uh, EMI. Okay. So if I go back to the console, so guys, as you can see, the EMI is deregistered successfully. Now let's go ahead and create a SNS topic, simple notification service. So into simple notification service, I will go to topics, create topic, standard, notify deregistration, D registration okay I will just copy paste over here and I will create topic so my topic is created successfully what I will do now is I will just go ahead and create a subscription in the subscription oh sorry email and into email I will just mention my email ID subscription okay that is done so guys as you can see my subscription is created successfully if i go to topic and notify the registration you can see my subscription is created successfully let me just go ahead and subscribe that so guys as you can see I have subscribed now I will go ahead and refresh it over here subscription confirmed now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my code and into my code I will use the Poto3 client where by using which we are going to send email notification so guys as a uh, SNS topic is created and subscription is also created and confirmed. Let's go ahead and integrate that SNS topic into our code. So for that, what I will do is I will just uh, go to our, over here, go to three SNS. So from go to three SNS, we are going to use the client. If I click on client, it will be go to three client SNS. Okay. So for that, what I will do, I will go back to our core editor over here. I will write SNS, SNS is equal to, okay. Now, so what we will do, if our list is not empty, then and only then we will go ahead and send notification. For that, if the registration list, then we will publish email so for publishing email what we will do we will write we will use the function publish if i click on publish you can see client.publish so in client.publish message is required so let's go ahead and copy this client.publish not client sns.publish we will use Let's go back to our code. It's over here. SNS dot publish and inside this publish. Let me first take topic here. inside topic here i will just go to our simple notification service topic here in i will just copy this and i will paste that in our code so that's pasted now i will go ahead and pick the next argument and that argument would be subject 
so I will just copy subject from here so in subject I will just go back to my code in subject over here I will mention AMI D registered okay now I will go to message okay I just copy message from here message string and in this what I will do so over here you have to pass string okay but we are having a list so what I will do I'll just type first this I will use as str and over here is deregister list so guys what this is going to do is this is going to send an email notification uh, which will uh, send the list of unused EMIs so what I will do I will just run this code to see if it is one, uh, functional so yes the code is functional and as you can see the list was empty so our next code did trigger so let's try to show that also print trigger Oh, sorry. Now I will just run it again. So, as you can see, this code block was not executed because deregistration list was empty. Now, let's go ahead and test our code. Over here, I will go to instances. Under instances, I will select Linux. Over here, go to images and I will create image test image 3 3 copy paste enable and over here I will add that as name test image 3 create image so let's wait for this AMI to be in available state okay So uh, meanwhile this EMI comes into available state. So as I said that guys that this code that we are writing we are going to use this code in our laminar function. So what I will do uh, meanwhile uh, the EMI is going into uh, available state what we can do we can do some other task. So I will just go to IM. So inside IM let's create a policy. So policies create policy okay so what I will do I will choose a service first I will choose EC2 okay that is done so for that I will select specific action so first I will do I will go to describe image okay Describe image attributes and describe images. Then I will do describe instances, describe instances, and describe instance status. Okay, so these two are selected now, and after that, I will do describe tags describe tags instance so instance type also I will select and status is there instance is there type is also there now this is done for resources I will do all resources and I will do add additional parameters and within this additional parameter I will go ahead and write key logs cloud watch logs and for logs I will select all next tax next review okay just terminate logs has not been added successfully so there are two warnings 
some resources, I will see more resources. Let's see JSON. So guys, as you can see, describe images. Okay. So there is one thing I missed over here. So I will just go back to my EC2. So inside EC2, there should be deregister deregister image. So this was a very important one that I was supposed to miss. So I have added that also. Now let me go back to JSON. So over here I have deregister image. So now let's go to tax preview. And over here we will write unused UML unused underscore policy that's it I will just copy it and create policy so guys the policy is created successfully I will go to rules create rule uh, AWS lambda next I will select our policy so the policy is already displayed over here next the role name would be okay PMI and this policy create role so the role is created successfully now what I will do I will just go ahead and create a lambda function over here functions create function in my underscore unused as you as you guys know our code is in python 5.3.8 execution rule use an existing one refresh it my unused rule create function so guys our function is created successfully over here okay so what I can do is now as function is created I will go back to my editor over here um, return success Let's go back over here. I refresh it. So it is in available state. Now let's see if we are getting a email notification. For that, I will go back over here. So now, guys, as you can see, this time this code blocks was not executed. Okay, because we were not having any AMI which is deregistered. So right now I have created new AMI which is deregistered. So this list won't be empty, and this is going to trigger as soon as published notification. Okay, and it will send that unused AMI is deregistered on my email address. So I will just go ahead and run this code. So I have ran the code. Let's see. So guys, as you can see, see this code got triggered. As it is, as this code got triggered, so I'm very sure I would have received an email notification. So guys, let me show you. So this is what I have received. So the code is working as expected. So now what I will be doing is I will just go ahead the code that we have created. Let's go back to our lambda function. Let's close this. As our code is working, we will put that into our lambda function. Let's copy this. Paste it over here. I'm pasting it over here. I will just copy my entire code from here. And 
Let me go back to my board. So let's plug in this bit. So I have copy pasted my entire code over here. I will deploy the code. So guys, our functional code is deployed over here. Now what I will do, I will just go to event bridge. So over here, I will just create rule. So in my unused, I will just copy this. So guys, as I, as I said, this is going to run on weekly basis. So for weekly basis, I'm going to use cron expression. And if I click on this, it is going to give you the cron expression, how it can be used. So first is minutes, hours, days of the month, likewise. Okay. So just have a look onto it once. Okay. So what we'll do now, we will uh, schedule this on uh, 11 a.m. every day, uh, every week, okay, on Saturdays. So for that, what I will do uh, for minutes, I will keep as, for minutes, we will keep as zero. For hours, we will keep as 11. For, for days of the month, I'm going to use the wildcard, that is question mark. Then I will use star that is again a wildcard and what is that star for that is for the month. So we, we are, we, I am not going to specify any month or any day of the month. Okay. So now it is going to run on Saturday. So seventh would be Saturday. So over here they have mentioned one to seven. So as you can see Sunday is one and Saturday is seven. So I have mentioned Saturday that is seven and the year I have given again a wildcard. So guys you can see now. So on every Saturdays, it is going to run at 11 a.m. So over here, I will select the uh, AMI. Just a minute, camera function. Unused AMI. So I have selected unused AMI and I am going to create this. So that's it how guys you can achieve. So this is your event. See, this is going to trigger your AMI. That is the lambda function. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you like this tutorial. So in this tutorial, what we have did is uh, we have uh, checked for AMIs which are uh, not being used by the EC2 instances currently and the ones which are not been used, we are going ahead and deregistering it. So thank you for joining the tutorial guys. Uh, have a good day. See you soon. Goodbye.